Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Hogwarts Legacy. Where we left off last time, we were uh, helping Ned Sai in Felburton Castle. We almost got Avada Kedavra, but luckily we made it out of there alive with two hippogriffs. I then took about a month or a month and a bit of a break. And I won't sit here and lie to you and say that there wasn't a chance I wasn't going to come back because there was a pretty good chance that I was done with YouTube at the time. I was tired and burnt out. But after a month and a half of introspection and relaxation, I feel much better about coming back and I'm looking forward to continuing. Probably not to the same extent as before. I'm thinking more along the lines of two or three videos a week as opposed to the daily videos that you were trying to do before. Just keep a nice quote-unquote work-life balance going on. So hopefully that will be good for everyone and we'll have some good content to put out. We're gonna go talk to Deke. Deke has a mission for us or Deke has something that he wants to talk to us about. So let's get started with Deke's quest. Hello Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Hello Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... The room is changing. Someone is doing demolition on my wall. Oh. Someone's made a bathysphere. A not very airtight bathysphere. We would definitely die if we went under the ocean in it. Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Okay. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Rude. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. Terrifying. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Oh, I don't think we have a choice, but if it helps me, I suppose I could check on Tobbs. Well, I suppose if looking for Tobbs also allows me to test my enchanted clothing, then I can do it. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Alright, let's go save him. You know what, I just had a thought. A random thought that popped into my head. You know these... vivariums or whatever they're called? Uh, that just have like an extra planar area for animals? What happens if you put one at like the bottom of the ocean? Would the ocean drain to the vivarium? Could you actually like if you had enough vivariums and you put them all in like strategically located areas, could you drain the whole ocean? These are some of the thoughts that enter my mind when playing games. How can I draw how can I get rid of the entire world's ocean? Now, alternatively, they're not extra planar areas, which I I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. There is a possibility that vivariums don't go to an extra planar place and have like a real world location that they're at. But that just seems silly and kind of counterintuitive because then you'd have so many weird beasts in one place and I just don't think that, that it could go unnoticed, you know? Like no one's gonna notice, no one's gonna not notice a hippogriff flying around a pastoral area. Oh yeah, we need to defeat mongrels for something. Alright, fair enough. Is there anything else around to kill? There's some mushrooms. Now the zone transitions below us somewhere. Where is it? Oh, we went around the wrong way. That's fine. We parked slightly askew. Let's just go over the mountain, like normal this people do. This must be Tobbs' cave. I suppose I should head inside. I wanted to try and blow up a chicken, but they all vanished. There are games that punish you direly for attacking animals, like Zelda, for example. Whoa, what is happening with my cloak? Alright, this place is full of spiders, apparently. Love that. Anyone in here? Hello? 
Tobbs, you missed your quota by three vials. You know what that means. It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of Seamus's Shrinking Solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you'll be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for your next shipment, I'd best see bloody bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you don't meet your next quota, plus five extra vials, you'll lose more than your food privileges. Tobbs, his master is awful. Yeah, he is. He's kind of a dick. Like a... Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in no. here? There's a chest there. How do I... It's got to be the other way. There's no way over there yet, I don't think. Rebellion. Anything around other than that? No, there's a chest down there that we should go pick up. Just hop down. Ooh, boy, a whole $52 thing over here. I guess we could have jumped off into the uh, to the waterworks, but we did not do that. Let's see if we can climb. I think we have to jump across there. Oh, it's a climbing wall. We can just run and jump. Should be fine. Revelio. Uh, there is a chest over here. Oh, right. I can't use any spells aside from that when I'm crouched, which is weird because. You think you could just blast it with some fire? We have an unidentified back item. Well, we'll get that identified later. Can we sneak up on spiders, I wonder? No, oh, nope, because he's just on me. Fine. Oh, Incendio did not work. I'm trying to remember all my controls. It's been a pod minute, but oh, I can't remember that Incendio is so short range that it's pointless. Uh, what are we doing out here? Come on. I guess we could have used Incendio there. That would have been marginally useful. Rebellion. Uh, there's a bag over here. Confringo. Oh, I put it into the corner. Now I can't get it. There we go. Uh, did I blow it up? Oh, I got 49 gold, so I must have blown it up. There's a lot of enemies in here. I'm going to try and sneak up on one and see what happens. Can we stupefy spiders? This is a question that I need to know the answer to. Yes, you definitely can. That is truly horrifying. They curl up into a little death ball. And it's very scary. Gotta say, not a fan of spiders at all. That one's dead. Whatever happened to it. Is that the one it looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. Sure. He must might have, have headed deeper into the cave. Revelio. There's a chest over. Oh, there's so many spider eggs. Can bring up. Took him a while to figure out where I was. Now he's dead. Oh, you're not dead. Never mind. Now he's dead. Oh, we are full up on X as well. Ancient magic. Okay, that's open. Nothing else Rebellion. in here. Of note. Just some pork clump juice and whatever this is. Claw. Some still. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we're going in. That did not work. We should not have incendio. That was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Mostly because I don't remember what the potion button is. Incendio. Uh, F? There we go, it's a G. Alright. Ow. Where are you going? Get back out here. Should have jumped. Is it Q? I think Q is shield. Alright, well, we killed them all. Wasn't the cleanest fight in the world, but oh, we shouldn't have used a potion. We heal after battle. I've forgotten some of the mechanics of this game, like shield, for example. We could have stupefied one. It's Q. Rebellion. Uh, looks like there's some more pork clump things up there. Apparently, burning them to death. Makes the little spiders not come out, which is nice. Uh, we can jump across. Oh, there's a bag over here. And 
it is a plaid blazer school uniform. Not. Oh, this is bad. That was a bad jump. We ran out of sprint right before the jump. Even though there is no sprint limit, it just kind of stopped for some reason. Uh, I don't like the little spiders. They creep me out. What's over there? A little satchel. It's not a satchel. It's a full-on sack, but that's fine. Forty-one dollary dues. We're gonna go sliding down into the next area. Which probably means a fight. Sure does. Including a matron. Oh, well, we got the potato off. That one didn't work as well. They're all dead. I am rusty on my combat, though. Master, if you're looking for Tobbs, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tob hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow. And please be careful of all the spiders. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. It did not, no. Couldn't bring them. Alright, we're wandering over. We definitely saw a matron go downwards somewhere. Probably in a giant cave below us. Yeah, it does appear to be that way. It's gonna be a wake-up call on how to fight again. Orc clumps make such weird sounds when they vanish. Uh, I don't think there's something right here, but it doesn't appear to be... It must be above us, or something like that. <coughs> Big room. Probably spiders. Definitely spiders. What are you? Are you an arachnidula or whatever they're called? Yes, you sure are. Right, we also have dodge. Ow. Jerk. Time to run. Stop your weird attacks. Actually, you know what I might be able to do? I might just be able to come up here. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. I can't attack because I'm technically crouched. They can't attack me either because I'm technically crouched. Oh, except they can. Kill all the little ones, kill the big one, kill it a day. That one's on fire. How many of these little bastards are there? It's actually hard to aim because we're trying not to get launched off the edge here. What is attacking us from range? Oh, is that is a little one? It's definitely a lot of little guys. I wonder if we can just duck into here. Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, well that does work. Actually, it didn't work. Well, uh, it's hard to tell what's going on when you're stuck in a little corner like that. Let's not do that. Let's just do a normal fight. Now that I remember how to fight a little bit more, we're fine. <sighs> This will be a pretty easy fight now that I've kind of got it down again. I wish I had more potions, but that's fine. The triple attack that they do is kind of annoying, but we can just uh, go to town on it here. Okay, where did it go? Time to dodge. Time to dodge. Time to dodge, time to dodge, and Zed. Don't know I'm hitting. That one's dead. Come on, jump forward. Oh, that's a horrible sound. There's some more Zeds. Oh, that one. Did that. Okay, time to dodge. Nope, Protego's a bad idea with an Arachnomantula. It'll definitely just hit us and kill us. That was very close. 
No Zeds anymore? Oh, that sucks. Oh, there we go. I died anyways. That was much easier than standing up there and taking pot shots from the uh, little guys. Worked out much better for us. We are down to two potions though, so... Probably could use some more potions. We'll work on that shortly. Where are we going now? Which way did we come in? We came in from this way. So we have two ways to go. One way has nothing and the other way has a possible chest. So let's go the chest way. It has a definite chest. It's also another slidey path? No, it's just a walkie path. Oh, it just leads back to here. Which we can't go through because there's a spider web in the way. Alright. Up here we go. Oops. My uh, controller is being weird. Well, not my controller, my mouse is being weird. It is now plugged in because I think the battery is dying. That's fine. Wireless mouse. Nothing but problems. Actually, it's not sure it's a pretty good mouse. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Hobbs. Oh no, Tobbs. I can't move. Master, if you find Tob's body, the big spider was too much. Tob's has failed you and deserves punishment. Tob feels weak, sleepy. Tob's must. Poor Tob's. Left here alone with the spiders. Poor Tob's. Rebellion. I wish we could go find this guy's master and just, like, straight up murder him. There are people that deserve to be murdered. I think Tob's master, definitely one of them. Let's keep this so very dark. I'm gonna hold back for a second here. Can't cast spells in the water. So we need to blow that up ahead of time. What's over here? Anything? There's a path. Let's not go up there. Yet. Let's go through the blown up thing that I just blew up. Let's see if there's any loot. There's some money and leech juice, I guess. Not particularly useful, but better than nothing. It's like a Viking ship here. Kind of looks like a... Oh, I think it's one of the school ships. The, uh, the little, like, the dinghies they go to the school on from Rebellion. the station. There's another chest. And I think we're almost out of here. Jesus. Yeah. Spiders. Had, like, a shiver down my back on that one. Alright. And we go that down. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Yes. Yes, you are. Let's go turn in this quest of Tobbs. We'll probably call it a video there. Can we not leave? Oh, there we go. For some reason, it didn't give me the prompt before. Oh, shit. There's enemies. Ah. That was a very lucky Protego. Oh, the tree block went... Oh, that one's dead, okay. That should kill it, probably. You know, I haven't been doing my dueling feats yet. I should probably start working on those. We have a lot of them to do before the end of the game. I just remembered that that's something we should probably get working on. Let's go turn this quest into... Wait, yeah, is that where we're going? Guessing so? Doesn't seem like there should be anything else. Yeah, looks like that's where we go. We should probably also grab some of our plants. Eventually I'm going to have to go and uh, grab our animal stuff too. And grab more animals. We need basically all of them, I think. What a lovely little room this is. I'm back from the cave, Deke. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he... died, uh, we were separated. Who's your master? Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> <laughs>
It's wise to move on. It's time to move on, Deke. That's so There's cold. There's nothing to be done now. Deke understands. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. It reminds me of that uh, skit from the uh, IT crowd where it's like, I never know what to do at funerals. Just go up to the bereaved, say you're sorry for the loss, and then move on. And the guy goes up to the bereaved, he's like, I'm sorry for your loss, move on. <laughs> That's sort of what I get from that little encounter with Deke. But we're going to call it a video here. It's a little bit shorter than our normal videos. I'm going to do a more organic end of videos rather than trying to force them to be a certain amount of time. We finished a big, well not big quest, we finished a side quest. In the next video we'll do another side quest or maybe a main quest. But we do have a couple side quests to go and take a look. We have In the Shadow of the Study. We have The Lost Child. Apparently someone's missing. We have Evasive Maneuvers, which is... A mysterious statue. Oh, right, that's the uh, battle arenas we can do. And then we have to go to the map chamber and meet with Fig, but I don't really want to do that yet. We're going to do the other side questy things first. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.